And we have liftoff, and it was awesome. Today, SpaceX launched their rocket called Falcon Heavy into orbit. The launch went perfectly according to plan. This rocket is the largest one to take off from Cape Canaveral since the Apollo missions to the moon back in the 60s and 70s. The Falcon Heavy is 229 feet tall. It has three rockets, 27 inches, and 5 million pounds of thrust. Inside that rocket is SpaceX founder Elon Musk's personal red Tesla, of course, <laughs> with a mannequin behind the wheel. And it's also playing David Bowie's space oddity in the background. If everything goes according to plan, the car will be sent on a trip around the sun and then towards Mars. Now, early this morning, Musk wasn't so sure that the Falcon Heavy wouldn't explode on launch. I hope it goes right. I give it maybe... I don't know, a half to two-thirds chance of working. That's it? Yeah. Actually, I feel like two-thirds, but I think realistically half. <laughs> OK, well, it, it worked. <laughs> That's good to know. The other cool part about this launch, SpaceX is hoping to reuse all of these parts. So instead of falling into the ocean or drifting in the space forever, the rockets are all programmed to land just a couple of miles from where they launch. You can see the two side rockets landed right on their target with no problems at all. So why is SpaceX doing all of this? Well, they hope to eventually send people into space to create a colony on the moon or on Mars. And that, of course, has a whole lot of Georgia Tech students excited. So we're going to continue our coverage with 11 Alive's Caitlin Ross, who is live at Georgia Tech, where all of the researchers were watching all of this very closely. Caitlin? very closely, Ryan. This was so exciting. You could almost hear people sucking in their breath and waiting right before this launch. That's because they have a lot riding on this. It's not this rocket that went up, but the next one, they're actually going to have a satellite on it that they designed here right on the Georgia Tech campus. Students have been working on this for years, and so watching the launch today was really their first step towards what's going to be an incredible experience. They were taking notes, taking video. They were watching this really, really closely using really technical terms that went way over my head but it was really an experience for them that they say they're never going to forget and this opened up so many doors for students here who not only have the opportunity now to work for a public sector that might look at space but also a private sector and that does come with some quirkiness like you said Elon Musk set up his Tesla he's going to be playing space oddity on repeat the entire time but the students and professors here say it just makes it all that much more exciting uh, that's fun. I mean, it sort of shows his character. Right? He's got this, uh, you know, kind of unique perspective. Uh, it, it sort of also shows uh, a little bit of his um, maybe ambitious nature that he's, he's willing to, you know, take this all in the stride. And he knows if this thing goes wrong, it's not game over. He'll just pick up the pieces and start it over again. And that's sort of the attitude that SpaceX carries along. And that's has been a little bit contagious. And he talks about that contagious attitude and also the ambition. It really fed into what the students were feeling here. It feeds into this next project. And believe it or not, their satellite could be up in orbit within six months. So this is really exciting day here on Georgia Tech and certainly a lot to look forward to moving forward. Reporting at Georgia Tech, Caitlin Ross, 11 Alive News.